Okay, this is chapter two of John Maxwell's leadership book, and I'm doing my blog on this today. It's Connie's Clever Concepts blog. All right, so I'm going to share on the soloist to the conductor. You know, we begin as a soloist when we're an entrepreneur, we begin our business, we are it. But you know, you want to be a conductor. You want to add more people into your pot. You don't want to be there all by yourself. One is too small a number to achieve great success. You know, and that's from the law of significance. Now, sometimes we can't achieve great things all by ourselves. I just talked to uh, a, a guy from a business group I'm in where he is the sole proprietor of his martial arts business and he teaches all the classes and he does it all and he's happy with that and so he's managed that but he's in a group of people in a business group where he meets and talks and gets ideas and where they support him and he supports them you want to be the director of the orchestra everybody wants to be the director everybody wants to be the boss and sometimes do it all by yourself but you know what, I like to be a part of the orchestra. There's a lot more company there, there's a lot more warmth, and it's very enjoyable to be around a lot of people. And as a team spirit, as you raise the music up and you play it together, it makes a beautiful sound, a way more beautiful sound than I can make all by myself. Zig Ziglar says, you can get everything you want in life if you are willing to help enough other people get what they want and you know this is the base of influence when you help enough other people get the things that they want or help them build their business it does build your influence because uh, it's like planting seeds and you're helping those people so let's look at number one the journey may be slower than you like if you're uh, if you're taking everybody with you. You know, when you're all by yourself, you can move fast, you know what to expect, and you could just move fast. But whenever you are taking other people with you, it does take a little more time. So the journey might be a little slower than you would like. Uh, leadership must be dynamic whenever it includes others. It's not like management. Management's one thing, but leadership is another. You gotta be dynamic. All right, let's look at this leadership dance. This is all from his book. Step ahead of people, but close so that they can see where you are and they can see what you're doing. Step ahead of people so they can follow, but stay close to them. Step beside people and listen to them talk about their journey. This is that collaborating where you learn from other people and, and, and listen to them. This makes them feel important. Step behind people and share words of encouragement and help them to keep on moving. All right, so that's John Maxwell's little note. It says leadership dance. Number two, recognize that you need others and that everybody brings different abilities into the fold. You wanna complete each other rather than competing. And I shared this on uh, LinkedIn and on Facebook uh, under Thursday Concepts. All right, but it complete each other rather than competing. You know, other people have strengths that you don't have, and whenever you compete, you're working against them for what you have and what they have. But when you complete each other, you're sharing. So let's look and see what's said on here. So competing uh, versus completing. Competing is a scarcity mindset. I mean, it's kind of negative. It's small. It's it's. It, it, it's just that it's just negative scarcity mindset and when you are completing people you have an abundant mindset it means you have a positive mindset you expect good things and you want to give good things competing with each other means it means thinking win or lose you win or you lose while completing is a win-win situation I delight in other people when they win it's like, to me, I want to glean from everything that I, uh, everyone that I'm around. I want to glean from different programs that I'm a part of or that I see um, because I want to glean what I see people do right. And they complete me because I keep learning from everywhere that I am. Competing practices single thinking while completing practices shared thinking. Shared thinking is my favorite. It is called collaboration. 
when you have shared thinking and all people put in their ideas, all people put in their ideas and you hear these things that you never thought of, the complete uh, project, the completed project is something special because it's everyone's ideas. And you know, they say that people support what they help to form. People support what they help with. So if they have some ideas and they're like, that was my idea, they feel like they're really a part of things. Competing is excluding others because you're in a competition. You know, you uh, don't want to talk to that person. So you exclude them. But whenever you are completing a person, you're sharing ideas and helping each other along the way. Number three, the effort to understand others. Make an effort to understand other people. And this is where I like to bring in a little bit about the DISC styles that I teach on, the communication styles. And that is that everyone processes differently. Some people process quickly and some people process more methodically. They make decisions quickly. They can make changes quickly. Um, they move quickly, talk quickly, while others are more methodical and have to take their time. They don't like to be pushed. And so we're all different. And if you expect people to be the same as you, you're gonna have some challenges with people. But when you understand the differences, when they weigh in, they're like jewels in a treasure chest. Every person is a jewel and they bring something to the treasure chest. All right, number four, wanting others to shine more than you do. Who does that, right? Wanting other people to shine more than you do. Being excited for somebody else when they make an achievement or being excited for them. Here's that abundant thinking. It's positive, right? It's all positive feelings where if you do not want others to shine and you feel bothered when somebody else is shining and you'd rather be up there in the front yourself, then it's negative and it's like taking energy from you. All right, so place of trouble for many. And this is from Maxwell. He says, before I say, follow me, I find you. Before I ask you to listen to me, I'm going to listen to you. And when I show you the big picture, you are in that picture. And when I point to success, I point to you because I want you to shine, right? Often you hear me say, I need you. Because remember I said I love collaboration. And often you, dis you discover that the other person actually needs you also. After the journey, you're both exhausted. But after the victory, you both hold the trophy. After the victory, you both hold the trophy. Good leaders do what they can to put others in a winning position. And this is the first part of chapter two of the John Maxwell Leadership Book. Uh, that says soloist to conductor because there's a lot of concepts and so I'm going to teach the second half next week. Thanks for watching and remember Connie's Clever Concepts dot blog. Be sure and like it and follow it if you want to continue to see what's coming up in the next training. Thank you and have an awesome day.